Let me, let me say one thing also about the, uh, the story that you gave about the uh, uh, National uh, Geographic, the, or, or was it the Scientific American, with the, uh, <clears throat> the bird and uh, dinosaur thing. It shows that the scientific community is working. These people are in dialogue. Error may occur where reason is left free to correct it. And in your system, it's nailed down by the Bible, and no, I cannot challenge that. Uh, with the invention of all kinds of uh, strange beings, I just looked, th this is very much news to me, I looked at one of the books that uh, Jim has here, uh, where the assertion is that evolution is inspired by Satan. And uh, what now, we have Thank God, you, sir, we we're going to have to cut uh, you off, and you can be right. back in five minutes. Carry on. I guess I'm still a little baffled what the question was. Uh, if your question, if you're going back to, you didn't like my answer of how God did it, God was just, uh, God is outside of time, space, matter. I think you need to stop and look at the theory that you uh, are believing in, apparently, because there are so many thousands of unanswered questions. See, it's much easier for me to believe in the beginning God than to believe, believe in the beginning dirt or matter. The evolutionist does not answer the question. There's six different types of evolution, as I shared clearly earlier. Um, if the Big Bang Theory is true, then I would like to know what exploded and where did it come from and where did the energy come from and where did the space come from for the matter to expand into and where did the organization come from and where did the information come from? There's a whole host of questions that are a whole lot harder for you to answer than in the beginning God. Where is it, where's information come from? Man, is, this universe is not just random molecules circulating around. I mean, it, it, it carries information. Just like a book is so much more than ink on a paper, it carries information. And the DNA is more than just chemicals. It's information. So the evolutionist never answers the question, where did this information come from? Where did the energy come from? Where did the matter itself come from? And you gripe about my belief. I, I believe by faith in the beginning God. I know I, I admit I don't understand that. But you believe hundreds of things by faith. You don't even understand that you're believing by faith. You think matter is either eternal or can create itself.